Hello, my YouTube friends. I always say test your streams to make sure everything goes well. Test, test, test. Well, I've done a lot on how to test on YouTube, but not on Twitch. So today I'm gonna go through how to test streams on Twitch. So let's get to it. <laughs> Today's content is sponsored by StreamTunes. Every live stream or video needs some sort of good music, right? But how do you find good music for free that's not gonna get you strikes to your live streams or your video? Today's sponsor, StreamTunes, is the answer. Now, StreamTunes is a 100% free platform of high quality DMCA safe music. And it's always free. No strings attached, no bogus signups, nothing. Just free. Not only that, but StreamTunes is available on Spotify, Apple, Amazon, and most, if not all, streaming services, including YouTube Music. And they have a library of more than 800 songs, and it's growing by the day. Another really cool part about StreamTunes is that every time you play their songs on any of the services, a donation is made to Music Counts. And this charity helps to keep music programs going in high schools all over Canada. And that's just awesome. Be sure to check out StreamTunes for yourself. There is a link in the description. And like I said, it's totally 100% free. You should first check this guide to broadcast health. It gives you all the settings for the NVIC and X264 encoders for the different resolutions that you can stream at on Twitch. You should set this up in settings first. There's a link to the page below in the description. Twitch does give you a tool that you can test the stream's health. So I'm gonna show you how to use that first. There is a link to this page in the description this is the twitch inspector you just need to log in with twitch and authorize your account and it brings up this page right here so we're going to go over into obs and we're going to go into our settings and we're going to go to stream and we're going to select our twitch stream and connect our twitch account and we can just select this box right here which puts us into a test mode and click apply and then okay now what we need to do is click start streaming and it tells you that you're in test mode you can click yes right here and we are streaming so if we flip back over here into our twitch inspector and we refresh we can see that our stream is currently going right now it would be this one right here and if we select that stream it brings you in and it shows you exactly what the stats are for your stream. So you've got your configuration check and it will tell you whether it's good or bad. And down here you get a little bit of statistics. It tells you your average bits and all that sort of stuff. And if I just split the screen here and we go over into Twitch, you can see that I am not currently broadcasting live. It says offline, even though I am broadcasting to the inspection tool. And you can see there we are still streaming. So if we go back over here into the inspection tool, you're gonna notice one thing that might put you off and it says that your frame rate is zero and that's because the inspector tool does not register your frame rate when you are not actually producing anything live any broadcast you do will have settings in this tool that you can go and look at later but while you are doing a test broadcast it doesn't show you your frames per second now let me show you an alternative way to do this we're going to go into our stream account here in settings and we're going to disconnect our account and click ok then we're just gonna go into Twitch and grab our stream key and we're gonna put the stream key in here and we're gonna flip over to the inspector and click run the tool. And you can see there is this little piece of text right here. We just wanna copy that and we can paste that right at the end of our stream key. And this is the same as running the test tool if you're connected to Twitch. So now if we start streaming, then we can go over here into the inspector, right click and go to refresh. And we should see a third stream here, and right there it is. And you just have to wait a moment or two or refresh for the information to come up and it gives you your bit rate and all the stuff that you need right here. And as you can see over on Twitch, we are still offline. So those are the two different ways you can connect up to this inspector tool so that you can verify that your stream is working properly. Now you can go over here when your streams are finished and you can select the chart. And if you go ahead and modify this so that you can see your information, it will bring up your moment by moment stream information that you can go and check and see what is actually going on and whether your stream was solid or not. This is a good way to test to make sure that your network is working properly and test that nothing drops the bandwidth or does anything that your machine or Twitch can't seem to handle. And this makes it pretty simple to be able to guarantee that you're gonna have a nice solid connection with Twitch when you live stream. Now we know we can stream healthily in the resolution that we want. But what about testing chat 
and alerts for our stream? Well, it isn't so easy, but there are a couple of options. The first is to verify everything works and is displaying properly in OBS while you're running the inspector tool stream. Trigger your alerts and your chat stuff and it should show up in OBS the way it'll show up on stream. Now I know this isn't gonna feel good enough for a lot of you, it doesn't for me. I wanna be able to actually see on Twitch what it's gonna look like and sound like to be sure everything is working. In this case, unfortunately, you have to create a dummy account using another email on Twitch. Unfortunately, it's the only way unless you're partnered on Twitch. If you are partnered, you could run a subscribers only stream and test with just your paying members. But even then, if you wanna be anonymous and completely unseen, the best way is with a dummy account that you only use for testing. If you want to see how to create this epic stinger using nothing but free software, check this video out. Big thanks to today's sponsor, StreamTunes. There are links to StreamTunes and the other sponsors that support this channel in the description below under the sponsors heading. Supporting the sponsors that help keep the lights on here in the studio is a great way to help me continue to make content that helps you. I couldn't possibly do this without them or you. So thanks. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.